later, buddy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Fishing Rubs. In today's episode, folks, we complete a task that I have wanted to complete for a long time, something that most people will only dream of today. We caught striped bass through the ice. So ever since I realized it was possible to catch a striped bass through the ice, it has been something that I've wanted to do, but it only happens in a select few places on the planet. Um, and it just has to be the perfect conditions in order to even have a chance at these fish through the ice. And let me tell you something, I thought that if I found them and was able to get on them through the ice, that I would hammer them. And let me tell you, that was not the case. In fact, it was a massive struggle for me. Now, because of uh, what went down on the first day, Joey and I decided to go back a second day and bring the underwater camera with us. Now, this water is super freaking murky, as you can see, but we got to literally document exactly what we believed was happening down there most of the day. Now, now before we get into it, all three of us caught fish, but all three of us uh, experienced the exact same thing. We saw so many fish on the fish finder. They were coming up left and right all over the place from you know, above us, below us, in all ranges of the water column, these fish were just coming out of nowhere, coming up to our baits, looking at them, peacing out. And we were like, what the hell is going on down there? So we put the camera down and, you know, that is literally exactly what goes on down there. Now, aside from this fish here, which is one of the first fish we saw down there, this fish was, you know, ready to bite. I actually can't believe he did not chomp the minnow, but he did not. But the rest of the fish, I mean, they were just checking us out and they were super shy. Once the camera was down there, we marked way less fish, but we did have some tip ups out. So once we started uh, jigging, we did have this one fish come in and oh, it was so close. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, dude. Uh -oh. He nudged it. He's gonna eat it. He ate it. Oh my oh, god. He tasted it. Come on. Oh my god. Once that fish took off for the rest of this day, uh, you know, on the camera at least, this is all we got. Literally just cruisers, cruisers and cruisers. And I, also I had more uh, on film, but they were just so dark and really hard to see that if anyone's watching this on their phone, there's no way you would even be able to tell what was going on. So I decided to only include uh, the fish that were you know, really visible that you could actually see what the heck was going on. Um, but man, these fish are so cool to target through the ice. And when you get one on, I tell you, <laughs> it's worth the hours of uh, defeat. Now here's a little white perch here. Um, this is the only white perch we got on the camera, but we actually caught uh, a couple of these guys. Um, and they are in here with the stripies. Now, because of the fact that there's only a couple places in the world where you can fish for these guys through the ice, um, I have basically kept the camera angle uh, pointed straight down at the ice um, to keep this place um, pristine and uh, to keep it what it is. So there are people that know about it you know it's a it's a far drive for a lot of us so uh you know um we make the drive and we got to keep it a secret 
so we keep the camera angle pointed down I've just gotta say that so it was really cool being able to watch these fish underwater um, doing exactly what we figured they were doing most of them were just like cruising past they weren't even like coming up and acknowledging us they were just like getting a good look at us from a distance and taking off um, now here's the thing last year good old Lucas good old Captain Blowhard went out um, and targeted stripers through the ice and so we had um, you know some information from Lucas to be able to kind of go off of and uh, he was actually the one that landed the first three fish so uh, let's let's check out Lucas um, slapping them around Lucky bastard. Oh! oh man. Ooh, what's happening? This reel is so bad, dude. It feels pretty good. Yeah, well, it's ripping some sand. We're on the ice, baby. I'm not. I eight pound, eight pound leader, bro. Oh, that <laughs> run! Dude. Look at that run! Yeah, eight pound leader. I was gonna change it, but I didn't, and I'm kind of not liking my decision. This is insane. Let me see if I'm gonna get more. Of you, yeah, that's, that's great. The hole is so giant. Dude, this is, this is a good one. Yeah, you got a good fish on, dude. I can't believe this is actually happening right now. It's not a bad one. <laughs> dude, this angle is dope, too. This hole is so jagged, dude. The line's just like jumping all around. It's sketchy as I know. Oh, I see him. It's right here. There's the leader. Yes, dude. Oh, man. Yes, dude. Yes. Where? You crashed down in there. Yeah. We got one. Yes, dude. I'm going to let him go. Yeah, now. okay. Yep. So you get the Holy That's shnikes. You yeah. did it, Todd. Yo, there's a lot. There's plenty to get. Plenty to get. Oh, my God. So while Lucas was uh, slapping him around, I was busy dropping fish as you will all see. It's happening, dude. This shit is happening. He slammed it. That dude, one slammed it. Set that, set the hard, bro. I didn't get to set the hook. He slammed it and was gone. He's going to good. Huh? Yeah. So after the first one that I lost, uh, you know, I, w I got the release, man. I was like super excited and um, I, I had the feeling like I'm definitely, definitely going to hook one of these fish, right? And that's my feeling uh, for a little while. On, off. Another one, dude? That time, that time I had him for a second. So, of course, I shut my camera off and, um, and I hook into this perch and had him up in the hole before I could even hit the record button because uh, it was not it was not too much of a fight. Oh, That's it's a, a light perch. That's All right. Good. Should I keep them? They are, they are delicious, dude. Joey, you want any? They're, I mean, they're not they're not like as good as like sea bass, you know, but they're all right. Could totally do a catch and cook. At least I got my first fish. This is great. Maybe if I get a few more, we'll let him go. I knew that wasn't a bass, like almost immediately. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Here I am replacing my worm, and of course, Lucas has to hook in to, uh, to another striper right from me. Bastard. I'm telling you, dude. Oh! You got him. Dude. You got him. <laughs> the line jumped the roller, bro. You got him. You son of a bitch, you got him. Yeah, we, we're on. They're biting good, dude. This is absolutely bonkers. Might be, yeah, it feels pretty good. The drag on this reel is not 
no. super functional. He's small. It's a little one. 20 inches. Perfect. Perfect size. Peace, bud. It's two for Lucas, that fucking butthole. I lose one, Lucas catches one. You son of a bitch. so cold. Lucas, I hate you. I think you need the braid, dude. I don't know. Maybe the braid. The light leader. Maybe it's the light leader. I may, but I don't think the light leader or the braid would have helped with my hook sets. So at this point, I can't even tell you how many fish I've marked. Um, I've already lost a bunch. Uh, I lost one more that I just either skipped over it or wasn't recording when it happened i have no idea see every one of these fish is you know a pb on the ice for me you know first ever striper and could also be like potentially one of the biggest fish i've ever caught on the ice you know when you're fishing for these things so every one of these losses it's just like oh it's trying um and i'm like you know, joey still hasn't got one he's lost a couple and it's just like oh man Luca's the only one that's going to be able to catch one, but then Joey hooked into one. Now he's going that way. He pulled the fire. Awesome, Joey. Becca gave me this as a Christmas present oh. last winter. Oh, I just saw it. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> it's okay running rubbing on the ice like that. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, this is twenty floral, right? Yeah, that's or something like that. Well done. So yeah, sick, Lucas, Joey. Yeah, you get a picture of me. I never have pictures of me, but. <laughs> Later, buddy. After Joey figured out the the swipe and wipe and, and swoop and whoop, uh, he seemed to uh, dial it in and was hooked into another one very quickly. Counterclockwise swirl. Is this one heavier? I don't know. You can. You don't have to worry about the ice. You can fight them. Yeah. It's like stand up. You just don't want to uh, cut no, it on the ice. You're good. The ice is, is the ice sharp. No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. You know better than I do. Yeah. You get. You have better um, leverage when you're when you're up like that. There he is. <laughs> That's two, Joey. <laughs> Got the confidence. Wow, I now. suck. <laughs> Figured out the wipe. The, it clicked with the wipe and the swipe. Wipe and swipe or front to back or whatever you call it. We just yeah, front. Sometimes front to back. Sometimes side to side. <laughs> Sometimes counter, sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to hit them with that, you know, you got to just go down the list until, you, you yeah, know. Yeah, until it works. <laughs> until you find one favorable. Go home. Yes, Joey. <laughs> you. What happens next, of course, happened while I had the camera off. We we're about to leave. Joey literally picked up his fish finder and said all right i'm done and started walking towards the sled to start putting everything away i looked up at him and it, it 
I was watching him walk, and when I looked down, there was a fish on the screen, and it came up at me hard. I lifted up and knew there was something there, and just set the hook. Looked down, noticed I wasn't recording, and hit the record button as fast as possible. I was hooked into my very first striped bass on the ice. Not recording. Oh my god, I just changed my battery, guys. I came over here. I'm on my first one. Are you recording? Yep, I'm recording now. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my god, dude. This is so cool. This is a dream come true, guys. <laughs> An absolute dream come true. We haven't landed him yet. Oh boy, he's a good one, Joey. Can't turn his head up the hole. second dude we were packing up and getting ready to go all right buddy thank you so much there he goes there he goes sick oh, yes <laughs> yes Good joey job, Woo! <laughs> sick Huge, huge thank you to Lucas. Huge thank you to Joey for being out there with me. Um, it's just, uh, you know, something I really wanted to do. I can't believe we actually got them, um, especially seeing how picky they were. I was so glad we were able to get this freaking camera footage. And it's just, this is one of those moments that I'll never forget. Right after we released the fish, Joey said to me, this is one of the top 10 moments of 2022. And I was like, you are 110% right. Uh, just something I'll never forget. And it didn't end here. So when we went back the next day, we brought some shiners with us just to test a couple flags out. And um, we got them. First fish of the day, Joey. Oh, yes. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> so ah. sick. So sick. Wow, look at his eye, Joey. Oh, man. Get a close up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That's not good. Let me get my camera and get some. Uh... This is on Fred's shitty hook, by the way. Oh, is it? It's a lucky hook. I can't believe it. New England, baby. Oh, fly, fly, behind you. That one, that one moved. That one, like, popped. Right before we had to pack up and go and put this strip in the books, um, I caught this absolutely massive white perch while jigging. Dude, <laughs> that's huge. That is massive. I could have sworn I had a striper on for a second. Yeah. Like, look at the size of that white perch. That's, that's awesome. That's crazy, dude. I think of vision right. <laughs> Giant, that is dude. Huge. As a beast. That's ah, a beast. Bye, bud. <laughs> a striper's one. But we learned a thing or two. Um, you know, it, it is worth it to grind for hours and hours 
and hours and drive for hours and hours to catch a fish of a lifetime. Um, even though during open water season, one of these striped bass would just be, you know, another schoolie. These were super special fish. Uh, it's so cool to, to observe them in their winter pattern. It's so cool to be able to observe these fish underneath the ice. I'm really excited that um, I'm one of the few people that have been able to do that and I'm super thankful and I'm thankful for all of you for watching guys if you're not subscribed already please do me a favor hit the subscribe button if you made it this far hit the bell as well we will catch you on the next one fish out wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms no statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision I know my occupations quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. This that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday.